you guys for joining me your boy Tony for another banger I'm right here in the Seta now normal people take a bike ride to clear their mind clear their thoughts empty their you know whatever burdens they have in their life I take bike rides to fill my mind on how I'm gonna do the next mods to my whips now with that being said I went out on my bike today my motorcycle by the way my on the shadow picture right here as you guys can see very killer now I was mobbing and I was thinking about oh how am I gonna do the rear speaker tray for the bug I need to get that done because I apparently am going to a car show next weekend and it's already Friday and it's next Saturday so a little bit on crunch time and I want to be able to put on some more stuff so I need to get rid of those speakers on the doors and put them in the back how am I gonna mount these speakers man what's so expensive I need to go out and buy some this 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 and that anyways I ended up finding a piece that I ran over with my motorcycle and we are now in the Z because I'm gonna go get it and it should hopefully still be there because I got off and like took it off and hit it as you guys saw I my motorcycle right and then I've been like trying to get this rear speaker tray done and I just happened to see this on the road man and I ran I actually went over and I thought I popped my tire because there's a nail on it but nah we're good so I'm gonna just hide it right here and then I'm gonna come back in my we'll, we'll go find it right now so let's go through these back roads and see what's up and if you can tell by my sense of urgency and why I'm speaking fast I really need to get this part man if somebody else sees it they're taking it man let's get it for all this traffic to clear but i'm gonna leave this open because i'm just gonna literally shove it in there shout out to the work truck you feel me so now that there's nobody here let's go run over there and get it oh oh there's a piece of wood in in question now we just got to get it to the other side now people notice it Oh, it doesn't fit, man. Desperate times call for desperate measures, man. It, it, it's not looking pretty back there. She's looking a little rough, man. But at least we're on. At least we're on the back roads, so they're not going to be able to. No one's going to be able to see us. And uh, there seems to be nobody behind me, so we're so far so good. I'm just going to mob it home to the most back road of back roads home, and hopefully it doesn't fly out and nobody sees us. All right, so brought this thing out I'm about to cut it in half this is my stencil for the bug so i'm gonna cut it pretty much in half and then i'll go from there and hopefully it'll be cool so i can like move it around elsewhere and not have to carry it so long you know so i was able to cut it in decent size this thing cuts very well man very well and i cut it like that so that way i can cut it and trim it up to what it needs to be exactly later on you feel me that way i have a much easier piece of wood to work on now so next time i go cut the stencil out that's you know that's all i had to do so shout out my pops in milwaukee bro but next stop it's gonna be andy shop get this prepped up so we can get it on the bug man so i've traced my template on there kind of did my rough cut and whatnot so right now it's like my rough draft right here I did the lineup already you guys can see right now i'm gonna just give it a rough cut so i don't have to carry around so much wood um so when i go to andy shop i basically just have to like fix the edges and whatnot so right now i'm just gonna do this cut 
because it's so big and I, it's hard to fit in the bug like this. So now that we knocked it down to size, it might be easier to transport and it'll probably be better. So this is the aftermath right here. I just got some few pieces of, I don't even know what this is, plywood, maybe? I don't know. Got a few pieces of wood left. I'm just gonna take that and throw them back in the Z. We don't need these. That's what I use in Milwaukee. Shout out my pops. All right, so we went from a stencil to reality, man. I got the panel all cut up. As you guys can see, it's a little bit off in some places, but I'm gonna just uh, just that at Andy's, fix the curvature and whatnot. It needs like maybe like an inch, half an inch uh, cut off. But um, yeah, definitely should have gone a little wider, but on the ends, I'm just gonna uh, flatten it out. I'm not gonna really cut too much off the sides. Just gonna even this out and then uh, just cut a little, little, bit, little bit off the top right here. Just so it can fit in nice and flush. Again, the point was not to get it perfect. It was just to get it easier to transport to my boy Andy's shop. Because if you guys remember the big piece of wood that we brought. So this is a much usable size of wood that we can use. Um, this is going to be using for the speaker tray. I guess I should show you guys my setup now then. If, if anything, got them right here. They're nothing crazy. My uncle just gifted these to me. So these are some Polka audio. Got this off the junkyard. They're, he, he, my uncle works in the, like, uh, Finessing stuff off junkyards and then just reselling them and stuff. So there's that. I also got these. Uh, these are pretty much just to make the hole for the three and uh, six by nine speakers. So if we take this and then I'll go based on however I want the speakers to be facing. If I want them like that or like that, probably gonna have them somewhere in this kind of vicinity. So I can like like this one. I want to put a logo right here in the middle, something right there in the middle, and then I'll go from there. But uh, yeah, the two speakers. Yeah, the two speakers more than likely will probably go like that. I just like the angular side, you know? Probably go like that on each one. And uh, we'll determine that once we measure it, once it's all trimmed up and uh, that it's test fitted. So uh, right now I just have this here ready for that, but this is what that's for. See if we toss it. It'll, it'll fit, you know? It won't fit flush, but you feel me? This is a lot easier to transport than the other behemoth of a thing. See, a lot easier to work with. It's gonna look great back there. I'm gonna obviously drill it into the existing subwoofer box. That way it doesn't move so much. But that's how much we have to trim right there. Just like half an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. And then I will upholster this uh, probably with this one and uh, go from there. That way it looks like a waterfall effect coming off the bag. You feel me like that? Yes, yeah, sir. I also trimmed these down. Probably wasn't the same good idea that I used the same saw to cut the other stuff, but I just, these are my uh, window guards. But I felt like they were just way too tall before. It had like another notch, you know, for like another section like this to top it off. And it was just too big, man. So I got these, so they're a little bit small and actually actually see out the window instead of having to see out this. So uh, yeah, just a little modification I thought would be cool. Cause it's a small car, man. You don't need too much, you know? What it do, baby? I'm at the boy Andy shop. Busting down right now. Um, crackhead threw some glass. We about to clean that up. Um, anyways, I'm gonna dive into this, man. Already took it all apart, kind of, kind of somewhat. I'm um, getting ready to mount this like somewhat there, getting ready to mount this somewhat there, and I'm um, getting ready to mount this panel on top of this. I just had to take everything out and I ripped to my seat, I broke it right there. I take off the front kick panels because I have these new ones that are mine and my dad wants his back, so we gotta do that as well. This out, man. So, this is my panel right here. It's a little bit different than my pops, but let me see if I can get them side to side so you guys can see them. My dad's just straight up plastic. Like this is really thin plastic. This one's more like fiberglass. It's a, lot, a little bit more sturdier. I don't know if it's gonna sound better or not, but it's a lot harder. Um, it is a little bit, it is shaped very differently, bro. Like it's shaped very differently. This is pretty much the same panel for both sides. Mine looks a little bit more obvious, but these just look atrocious like this, bro. They, like they definitely need to get painted after I throw them on or like put some carpet or something, but this looks good, like horrifying. I did get these for 25 bucks on Facebook market, so that's a win opposed to these, but I still need to make the holes for these and whatnot. I just like how, like, you see how this one's uh, curved where the speaker gets mounted? This one's a lot flatter. So I can't say which one is better made, but um, we're going to see and install them and see what, what, what it do, you know? This is the, the, the so-called panel that I need to trim down, as you guys can see that. Trim that down, trim that down, all that down, and then uh, one last press fit, and then we'll be ready to go. And boy, Andy's gonna chop this up real quick. We're gonna put it to this line, and then uh, trim out some of this stuff in here. And I 
Yeah, just test it. And if it's all right, like uh, this far, the speaker, well, the front of the car is over there, the back. If it's all right uh, this way, but this way is not fitting how I want it to. So about to trim down this edge because if you guys can see, it's not very straight. I'm going to straighten this edge out, knock this off, and then uh, knock some of this off. And then see if it allows me to slide it back a little bit more. Because it's not tight against this side, but it is tight against this side. <laughs> So check this out, y'all. Getting my last tits fits in there. It's it's fitting up pretty good, man. I mean, it look it looks pretty darn good in there. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I don't I don't like the way the way it's looking right now. So I got about a six six inches on each side right here. This amp's obviously gonna get mounted and whatnot. I got about six inches on each side. I just can't seem to figure out how I'm gonna do this. So check this out. I got six and a quarter. No here. I got about six and a quarter. We can probably move it a little bit this way. There we go. So this is pretty much how they have to be. That's my little stencil. I'm going to move them more in the corner this way. But I want to have them so that they're not hitting the edge or sticking past the edge. So that's kind of the hard part. Of course, it's a cone, so it goes like that as it gets down. I just don't want it to hit my box. And then me cut it like an idiot, you know? And then have, not be able to have some sick ass subwoofers, you know? So I just have to get it like that in there. I'm getting down, I'm getting down. Come on, speaker tray all mocked up, you know? I mean, it's getting down in the back. I mean, it looks pretty flat. The actual panel's not flat, but I mean, apart from that, this is a hole the boy Andy can make. You feel me? Whoa! I want to make this little comparison because I was talking to my dad about this. These are like fiberglass ones. They're pretty hard, man. They're not going to really like deform and stuff. Now, these are my pops, right? Pops a great guy. Super flimsy. This is straight up plastic. But it's crazy because my dad was climbing on me when I got these because he was like, oh, you got these and they weren't even cut. But man, the material's stronger. So what I'm hearing is that this is going to bump a lot harder now, you know? That's what I'm hoping for at least, you know, get some real bass going in there. You feel me? I think these do stick out a little bit further out, like, uh, so I could have a fatter magnet on there if I wanted to. I have some different Alpines I'm going to put on here. No, sorry, not Alpines. I got some different kickers I'm going to put on here. These are just some test fit speakers. Test fit because my boy Andy already broke it, you know? So, test fit speakers and um, mount the holes and all that good stuff. And then I'll have the other ones at home ready to mount for this. And then right now I got to get this mounted in the car. Meanwhile, the homie Andy does the rest of the stuff like cutting up this and then the other panel. God damn. Hot box. Second. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, we are going to try to trim it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And it covers everything. Beautiful. Thank God I found that. Bro. I think if we didn't have that, it would have been GG. Yeah, we would have been toast. toasted. When you have the right tools, you know, this is all it took. All of these to make one hole. Well, this bad boy right here. Get her. Sneak peek of the test fit, y'all. She looking mad scrumptious right now. You feel me? 
Anyways, uh, I'm gonna drill this into the. I'm gonna like drill the panel onto the actual sub box so it can become like essentially one thing. I'm gonna put like one screw right there, one there, right there. So, idea is I'm gonna drill this in right now. See, we seem to have found the hold for them. Then we just need to get these secured, and then I'll be able to mount this. And then once I get home, take it out again, and then uh, reupholster this bad boy with this thing. And then, uh, then we'll just redo the whole thing again and install the speakers and all that. All right, so we're back at the crib. I'm about to set this up real quick. Um, sucks that I have to be, you know, using such a brand new, uh, you know, made kind of blanket, but it's what it takes to have good bug, you know. So I'm gonna lay this out and then I'm gonna set it up the way I want it to. This happens to work a lot better than the actual other one, Permatex. Permatex is trash. This is a lot better for that heavy duty. You feel me? So uh, we're gonna do that. Get it cracking. I just got it laid out. See, kind of see how I want to um, divide it on. And uh, right now we're about to see what's up. It's definitely gonna need something in the middle. I'm definitely gonna need some ideas from you guys as to what to put in the middle because the speakers are literally gonna be out here and out here so far out. So I need ideas from you guys what to put in the middle. Let me know down in the comments below. I need ideas for this man for sure. So I sprayed it on there. It says to leave for a minute before I flip it. So I sprayed some on there, on here, and then I'm gonna flip it in about a minute. And I just use this to cover up the side that I wanna get, you know, adhesive on. Gonna give this speaker a proper cleaning. And then we're gonna install them just like this one and then drill them out, man. Mark the holes, you feel me? Yes, sir. I don't really have a proper way to do this. I just kind of feel it out. And then wherever I feel like it needs to go, that's where I start cutting. Start giving it relief cuts all over the place, man. So when you finish up, you should have something like this. Zah. Ooh, nice. Very, very nice. All right, so now I got I put this one on top of the box because now I'm going to sit all this weight on it so it can uh, push and, you know, make it stick to the actual wood so it doesn't peel off anytime soon. So I'm going to let that sit. Meanwhile, we work on the wiring and do all that for the bug. Guys, I'm in the Beetle right now. Um, about to show you guys this rear setup. Almost, almost about to show you guys it. Another day. I'm about to mount these speakers up because right now they just kind of sit in there. And this one's not that. This one's pretty loose. But this other one's really, really tight. Like, I can't even, like, pull it out. Oh, my gosh. I can't pull it out. It's, like, um, really tight in there so it doesn't move. But I'm still going to drill into it. But I did go get some new hardware because I figured, why am I going to use old rusted out stuff? So I got all new different size bolts. I got these because my subwoofer keeps moving and it doesn't look good. And, you know, I'm going to mount it, hopefully, in some way, shape, or form. If I can get one or two in there, I'll be solid. I did use a knife to cut a hole before this in the actual thing. So that's why it's not going to pull it away. It's already made a hole for it. For the rest of MG, I'm going to have to pull you guys a little bit closer. I just don't want to get my mandel dirty, you feel me? I've never had full hardware in a sound system in my first time, man. Really trying to do things differently, man. Trying to, you know, get my game up there. Don't ever, don't always want to be building the same boring cars, man. Oh, sometimes it pulls them on dead a little bit, just back out a little bit, and then come back. Usually works for me. Gotta make sure that it's straight, though. Yes, sir. So that we have the speakers with all new hardware in it. Some of that stainless steel. So now they won't be able to come out or move or anything like that. So you know they're solid in there. Yo, so we have my pad, man. I'm picking this vlog up in a very long time, man. Never got to finish up the stereo system, so we're gonna finish it up today, right now, this very moment. Now, for various reasons, I'm gonna be switching over to a different head unit because mine does not currently have one in my Vocho. So we got this JVC, that's the model number, in case you guys care. Anybody care? I don't know. Anybody I don't know, but it's a KDTD90BTS, whatever CD receiver. Anyways, I'm in here 
this is what we're rocking with today. This is what we're gonna put on the watch show because my curtain does not have one. This one is Bluetooth, Series XM, uh, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, all that good stuff, whatever. CD, cool phone, make my phone calls, whatever, anything. All that jazz, that's all cool and dandy. Uh, so we're gonna switch this over, put this instead of my Alpine that it currently doesn't have right now. We'll go ahead and get into that right now. And I just comes with this trim and then this like extension for the um antenna i don't know why i couldn't remember that antenna radio all right so when the watch man it obviously might look a little bit different to you guys because it's a the, it's a kind of finish and whatnot we skipped a few fo forward we skipped forward about a year or so i got some switches up top i have a whole power distribution block up in the front but we're not going to get into that today today what we're going to get into is just the wiring that's back there and uh why i don't have a head unit so i don't have a head unit because one of my trucks my dad uh took to a shop and then this was the head unit off of that one it was another alpine we just like alpines this is where we like getting them what does it say we like alpines and um shop took the face of the of the deck claimed they lost it whatever gave him mine so my bug currently doesn't have one i just gave him mine because my bug didn't need one at the moment when we were doing what we we're doing at the time so now nah, i don't have one so that's why today i'm going with jvc this one just got off my uncle's hands uh, i should get the job done pretty well it's got a decent enough size to where i think it could carry it without this so um yeah because i'm tired of not having a car because currently my z doesn't work either and that's a whole other story that we're gonna get into after this there's so much i need to catch you guys up on so i'm just trying to knock this out right now I'll show you guys what it sounds like post up the video and then uh, move on so we can keep, keep going with the content and keep going with our lives so um let's get into it just like any normal stereo these are pretty much the generic the black should be the ground the yellow should be the always on the red should be the switched on and then this should be where it says antenna should be to your antenna in case your antenna retracts whenever it's you know tractable um this is just the illumination so you do illumination and the stereo head unit works whatever two purple two whites two grays and two greens all of that is just like the you know typical usual you know speakers two fronts two backs and typical speaker setup that's where all those are for um obviously the, the one with the stripe is a negative so you just do those away and then the remote input this should be for your steering wheel controls and then for your um subwoofer so your subwoofer turns on with the blue wire should go to that so with that being said or it could be controlled to your antenna it's whatever you want it to be so we're gonna go ahead and plug those in um our rca is in the back right here put our mic in and uh do this little shebang right here and then uh, we're good to go take off this panel right here with one screw on the top you guys can see i just have it exposed right here and we're just going to swap over as easily and as smoothly as possible my rcas i guess once inside we can already start throwing this thing in there i mean you know all we all we really need from here is the harness which unplugs like so all we need is this and then the rest of this you can toss back in oh, if i could just get the angle right because my Huh. Trying to see if I can get it to slide all the way in. Okay, this might be as deep as we wanted to go. Remember, we still have the trim piece on here, so we can't completely put it on yet. Yeah, as you guys can see, clearance is non existent, but it's all good. We're still gonna rock it. Check it, man, in here. Got all the wiring done. I know it's a mess, and I got duct tape on there, but because I ran out of connectors like these, I ran out of shrink, heat shrink, 
So I just used duct tape because I want to get this done. I did label them though, that's a good thing. I got a rear passenger, rear driver, front driver, front passenger. All labeled up, ready to go. We're gonna test it out, see what it do, baby. Let's see. I'm in here, trim pieces on. Nice and beautiful. Let me close the door so you guys can. One more time. Okay, 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 I see you. decision where to run to okay, radio from. works radio works like driving down the road and hearing a car siren okay. you don't immediately pull your car to the right i pop bluetooth let's get it no device what's going on here oh i'm gonna call i'm gonna call i'm gonna call hello let me see if I can load up a song for you. I'll put you on some cool slabs. See if this thing works. I know you can change it so that it lights up to the song. Let me see. Right there. Hey. Oh, that's not it. That was not what I was going to. See? Now change it to the song. Tell the bitch I'm vibe. Cruising down the street, headed to the me. Put the club and the bars up above my car me. Okay. Fuck around and find out, never heard of defeat mm -hmm. Let me introduce you to the winning team Smile yeah. right around town, what I play your sound oh. This a West Coast beat, lay the bars nice and neat Real cool, two for two I need something a little bit more bass though, huh? I know you guys are feeling that one though Let me see, is this, is this, this might be too much bass though Throw a CD in there as well. Let me see what it would do. Okay, blappy, blappy. I know you guys were feeling my blappies instead, bro. I know you guys want to hear that two tone verse in there. Since we're already in here, I wanted to add some more, um, you know, pins right here. It's cardboard wrapped in tape, wrapped in this. And then there's just magnets on this side and this side holding it in. And this side right here, there's just like the clips holding it in like where the regular mesh would go and uh, whatnot. So I got this pin right here, which I think is pretty dope. This Route 421, that I think would look killer. That I think would look killer, right? Like in the corner over here somewhere. Actually, pretty crooked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's all good though. It happens. It doesn't bother me at all. Loving how it turned out, man. I even got it straightened out. It looks great, fantastic. I'm loving the the vibes in here. They're immaculate. Like, look at this. Hit that on. Turn the bottom lights on. Is that vibe? You got your echo pressure on and your release. It's amazing, man. Turn that off and the stereo still works. Like, come on. You see? This is TT for your new bleeds. Uh. All the best in the West. Be talking about speed, then you really about me. Uh. Be refreshing. Uh. What you been on? Yeah, turn the Z on. Yeah, swing the car down the road. If it's driving like a pole, drive the wire like a scroll. That's two mil down the road. Call me side for the bro. Speak it like a true story. Talk. This is two tone. Yeah, for the two stage. Yeah, turn the two stuff. Yeah. Yeah, catch a cruise train, yeah, on the track, steady lane, yeah, I'm boost up, yeah, um, laying bars for the song, left for lap, going strong, grip my got me, my clock is on a two story, yeah, I'm laying bars for the song, laying yeah. bars for the song, left for lap. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, currently editing out the video. I appreciate y'all for watching towards the end of this video. I know this was a long one. I had a lot to do in this vlog. I mean, cut, we caught up on a lot. I just had to bust out this vlog. It was, it was like cut up into three different days. It was crazy, man.
there was a lot of time in between each one of these videos so i wanted to make sure i didn't leak any information of that so i make sure i took my time when i edited this video and i made sure to bust it out for you guys today same day sunday man i appreciate y'all for taking the time out of your day to watch the video man it means a lot to me that you guys stick it around this long just to kick it with me have a good time build a sick ass car man i'm really hyped right now my dad took some parts off my car so i'm only really missing the distributor clamp the ignition coil and i need a tune and a carb uh clean out and then we should be set to go man I, I got new stuff on there i already got a new distributor and i got a new carb uh i don't know what my dad took my old stuff but um took it now we're gonna make the best out of it so hopefully when we get that car running pretty pretty soon we'll be out on some cruise man and the videos won't just be just me working out at home man i'm really excited for what's to come i hope you guys are too man if you guys are smash that subscribe button hit that bell right next to it too because i know you guys are going to be upset whenever i post the next banger and you guys miss it man so i don't want that to happen so make sure you click that bell right next to it if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff I did today, man, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. I answer each and every one of them, don't matter how old it is, man. I take my time to answer you guys to have a good time, man. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys benefit from this video. I hope I was educational. I hope it was fun, man. If you guys are having a bad day, I hope you guys can just kick it with me for 20 minutes. Have a good time, man. I'm just here to spread good vibes. I hope you guys can pick up on them. You guys can continue to spread them out. I hope you guys have an amazing best day, and I catch you on the next video.